NVIDIA investors need to know why they must stick with NVIDIA for the long-term growth of their investment. In this video, I will give you an insight into some of NVIDIA's plans for the next few years. Innovation companies do not grow steadily. They grow exponentially. That is what has happened to NVIDIA so far. But once you watch this video, I have no doubt that you will immediately admit you did not know the NVIDIA of the future before. Let's get started. In his presentation to investors recently, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said, AI brings computing into the core of the $100 trillion global industries. Huang explained that in the near future, companies will leverage AI to unlock new monetizable applications, increase productivity per employee, and transform their business models through innovation. NVIDIA wants to be a part of that future by creating it, guiding it, and accelerating its implementation. NVIDIA believes that industrial AI applications will serve large global markets. As an estimate, NVIDIA puts these highly lucrative numbers forward. 10 million factories, 200,000 warehouses, billions of humanoid robots like Tesla's Optimus, and as many as 100 million autos coming to the streets every year. Needless to say, NVIDIA, as a market leader, is ready to attack this future from every angle possible. NVIDIA AI Enterprise Platform will help companies to build and run AI applications customized to their needs. NVIDIA Nemo will work as a platform. NVIDIA Neem, or Model in a Container, will provide microservices to support the operation. And NVIDIA AI Foundry will help build custom generative AI models with company data and company-specific knowledge. Companies across many different sectors, including healthcare, energy, financial services, retail, transportation, and telecommunications, are already working with NVIDIA NIM. Some of these companies are familiar names, for example, Saudi Aramco, AT&T, and Uber. Meta has also teamed up with NVIDIA to power their advanced model customization. NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise helps developers build advanced, generative, AI-enabled 3D tools and applications for industrial digitalization. The software platform also helps speed up product development to deliver more enriched customer experiences. NVIDIA's accelerated computing platform comprises each 100 Tensor Core GPUs, Grace CPU Superchips, Grace Hopper Superchips, and Quantum 2 InfiniBand Networking. NVIDIA is working alongside the ARM Neoverse ecosystem to create more energy-efficient supercomputing centers, which will enable important breakthroughs in the field of scientific and industrial research. As you can understand, the possibilities are endless. At this moment, NVIDIA has four different sources of revenue. Data center, gaming, professional visualization, and automotive. Of that, 78% of revenue in the 2025 financial year is estimated to come from the data center. This is where you find the AI foundry at work. Gaming supplies only 17% of the revenue, while professional visualization and automotive departments bring 3% and 2% respectively. The CAGR for the data center department is also remarkable. CAGR stands for Compound Annual Growth Rate. It gives you the average rate of returns you have earned every year over a period of time. The CAGR for the data center section is an astounding 75%. A CAGR of 5 to 12% is considered good for large companies. Even small companies have a CAGR of between 15 and 30%. NVIDIA is not a startup, but its CAGR 
is as high as that of a groundbreaking startup. However, all of NVIDIA's future revenue will not come from commercial companies. NVIDIA has already started working with various governments to create their sovereign data centers. Sooner or later, all independent countries or states or entities will need their sovereign data centers, which will benefit NVIDIA more than any other company. As you have seen in one of my previous videos, these data centers can be set up in modules. NVIDIA's Shor DGX platform incorporates the best of NVIDIA software, infrastructure, and expertise in a unified AI development solution that spans from the cloud to on-premises data centers. NVIDIA has lost about 5% today. This came following a piece of leaked information from Netherlands-based ASML Holdings. ASML predicted weaker semiconductor demand in China in the next financial year. If you have been thinking about taking a position in NVIDIA, this can be an excellent opportunity for you. Understand that NVIDIA is a fundamentally strong company. One or two leaked documents, quarterly earning reports, downgrades, or predictions cannot take it down. These are temporary matters. Technological advancement has seen many such setbacks in the last 30 years. But the truth is, we are not where we were in 2000 or even in 2010. NVIDIA, Google, Apple, Microsoft, or Meta all have grown with time. I have seen Meta to be traded at $20 shortly after its IPO. Look where Meta is today. It is trading at $586 per share. Despite that, we have seen a pandemic and a bear market after 2021. Even NVIDIA lost 65% of its value in 2022, but it bounced back right away. Gold needed seven years to reclaim its all-time high. Oil needed eight years to be $100 again. NVIDIA reclaimed its all-time high within a year and is now pushing to be the most valuable company on earth once again. All of these companies are richer than before, and you will be richer too if you invest in NVIDIA and hold your position.